happened yesterday when the spit hit the fan. I watched it back and um, it was disgusting. <laughs> like that was gross. I want to validate everybody's feelings um, that that was a distraction to what I was really trying to do. I was really trying to make the word come alive and for people to see the story. But yesterday it got too live and I own that. And um, I just want to make sure people know that we want to help people. We want people to see Jesus. We want people to feel loved. We want people who are desperate to be able to find hope. And I'm passionate about that so much so that I try to do extreme things to help people get it. And yesterday it crossed the line. So um, I love you guys. I appreciate everybody that's been praying for us and sending us messages. And to anybody who just saw that three minute clip, I really encourage you to go back and watch the whole message. There's some truth and some life in there that could potentially change your whole life. Um, when Jesus uh, spit on that man, he was blind and then he could see. Um, for my brother who I love and uh, honor so much, I just called him. He was bald before I spit on him and he's still bald today. So no miracle here. And uh, so next time I'll rethink and do something differently. I love everybody. I'm praying for everybody. And uh, Transformation Nation, thank you for writing. We're going to represent God to the lost and found for transformation in Christ. All right, everybody have an amazing week.